Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod for the Burnside Special. Now, there's no vehicle choice here that actually gives you the mod, so we can spawn up any version. So we're going to spawn up the custom, and then we're going to go to the parts menu, and then under additional modifications, we have a Jado liquid fuel rocket. That's what we want to take a look at. That is the mod. So it's literally a rocket strapped to the roof of this thing, and it accelerates when you accelerate. So you see right there, I hit the accelerator, and it just goes off. Now, if you're careful with the throttle, actually, though, you can accelerate without using the rocket by just doing half throttle. And once you get near full throttle, then the rocket will kick in and you will start going faster. It's kind of funny. The rocket actually drops off when you reach your top speed, though. So if you want to keep going, you hit T and then it makes it permanent rocket mode, which is completely over revving the engine, causing it to soon blow up. But we're going nearly 200 miles per hour in a Burnside Special. Well, we were going nearly 200 miles per hour in a Burnside Special. Until it uh, got completely ruined there. I actually don't even know where the rockets ended up because they just shot off after the collision. So we'll take a quick look at the car and then we'll go ahead and reset it because that thing really got ruined from that collision. That's one of the most beat up Burnside specials I've probably ever seen from a regular crash. But can you really consider a car that's rocket powered to be a normal crash? I'm not really sure. I mean, you can get up to similar speeds using the drag version. And speaking of the drag version, you know it'd be really cool? What if we had a drag version with rocket boosters so it was even faster? Because this thing totally needs more speed, doesn't it? So not only do we have over 1,000 horsepower from the engine, we also have another thing on top that gives you another over 1,000 horsepower. I have no idea how much it gives, but I know it has to be more than 1,000. So we got to be kind of careful with the throttle here because it gets a little sketchy real fast. Once we're up to speed, though, we can keep accelerating all the way up to 235 and it's kind of topping out right here in 240 range and well we're just flying and we stripped the car we just removed the body of the car from the frame okay one part of the car is still attached somehow i have no idea what it is and the frame has been completely bent and somehow the flat tire is thumping as we move and there's the rest of the car right there right just a few feet behind me and i know i said the previous one was one of the most destroyed burn sides i've ever seen that's still true because that last one didn't even look like a burn side so i don't know if it counts it just looked like a frame with a pile of metal next to it and this time it's being a little bit more squirrely i'm gonna try to just get it going though there we go it's hard to control because the front squats down from the thrust of the rocket you can see the front right there is squatted way down which looks really weird for a rear wheel drive drag car like this but that's just because there's so much thrust and that is a direct hit <laughs> that thing basically ruined the whole front of the car and some of the middle. It's kind of like a brutal slope crash without using brutal slope. And also, if you wanted to, you can probably equip this with a police car. I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to try it right now. I don't think it'll interfere with the light on top. Maybe it replaces it. I don't know. We'll find out. So is it under additional modifications? It's available. We'll see what happens with that light there, though. Might be kind of just a little bit of a disaster. Oh, my goodness. It kind of looks okay. Like, it's not supposed to be there, but it looks okay because you can still see the light, so you can turn it on, and then all the criminals know you're coming after them at stupid speeds. Like, no criminal's going to be able to outrun this thing. Rocket-powered police car. Most absurd thing I've ever heard. And kind of interestingly, it's actually easier to control this version when the thrusters are going than the drag one because I think it has regular front tires to help with the traction a little bit, where the other one just has drag tires that are simply not made for trying to be steering like that. Also, this is the top speed, unfortunately. Yeah, I was hoping it would go a lot faster, too. So let's do what's necessary to make this thing go the speeds I want. we got to swap out probably two parts. The first one is going to be the transmission. So right now we have a three-speed transmission. Give me the four-speed automatic drag transmission, because that's what's in the drag version. I think we'll also need to make a change to the rear suspension. We're going to go to the differential, and I believe it has the race-locked rear differential on the drag version, so we'll get that. We're going to go to the tuning menu real quickly and see what the ratio on the axle gear is. I'm going to lower that to about maybe a 2.5. Four. That way we top out at 240 miles per hour. Does that work out? We'll have to see because it's not like you could just put 2.4 and it automatically makes you top out 240. In fact, it's the opposite. The lower the number, the higher the top speed. So let's go ahead and see what this thing actually does here. Based on my guess, it looks like we're going to get pretty close to the speed I wanted. That's great. So yeah, we're going 230 miles per hour. And at this speed, my hubcaps are falling off. I am topped out. I am topped out and we're still going. Uh oh, I lost control. Too fast, too much thrust gonna smash into everything thankfully though the vehicle did stay attached to the frame so you get a better look at the damage instead of just having two balls of metal it still looks like a car for now we did fly for quite a bit before finally crashing there and that car is thoroughly ruined but it could actually put down power somehow that is truly impressive i did not see that coming and i just had a really dumb idea okay 
So what if we tear the rocket off of the car? Does this still work? So there goes the rocket. And then we're going to go ahead and accelerate. Yep, it works still. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. It is fast. It's like a rocket. Get it? Because it literally is just a rocket. And with no weight tear holding it down, it can go really far and really fast. And it's actually out of range of the vehicle, so it won't show up anymore. I'm going to try that one more time and tear the rocket off and watch it fly a little bit more. That works. Yep, the rocket flew off. That's all that matters. And go, rocket. Go, 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 go. It just takes off and it spirals all over the place. Like somebody threw a frisbee or a boomerang or something the way it's spinning. Come on, hit that ground and still be in range. Don't go too far. It's okay. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's like fading out. You can tell. All right, now we're too far away from the car. The closer we get, the more it disappears. We can still see it right now. I just gotta somehow get it closer to me, not farther. It's going farther away. Oh, well, I tried to get it closer. I just didn't want to do that. Don't know how the car ended up upside down. Just kind of an awkward roll when I was watching the rockets, I guess. So now that we know the rockets will work when you pull them off, here's a new question. Can you pull the rockets off and then reattach them to the vehicle in a different location? That sounds like it could be interesting, right? So we'll go ahead and attach the rocket right there and we'll make it, whoa, we got to make it like kind of attached on both ends. So we'll flip it around. Come on, flip. Yeah, it's not going to flip as the way I wanted it to, but I guess that's the best we can do. Perfect. So now it's hopefully up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of funny now. It looks like it just has a huge exhaust tip that shoots fire. Oh, goodness. It really lifts up the front of the vehicle or the rear of the vehicle. Like the front is just going down. Look at that. Oh, this is a terrible idea. This is a completely stupid idea because I can't do anything when the rear wheels are up in the air. It's just it's uncontrollable in that situation. Like I can steer it in a direction, but I can't actually control it. So maybe if we'll try it again on the straightaway and just floor it and see what happens. Oh, goodness. I'm just bouncing all over the place. How about, okay, that doesn't work, obviously. So what if we attach the rocket to the front of the car instead of the rear of the car? So let's go ahead and try that. We'll grab the rocket, yank it off, and then we just got to find a good attachment point on the front. Probably just on the hood's going to work. Yeah, like there's a good spot right, well, lower the strength a little bit. So attach one spot right there. We got to attach the next spot right there. We have to... Move it around a little bit so it actually attaches. Okay, well, there we go-ish. <laughs> That's kind of what I want. Actually, what happens then? Does it just like push the front of the car down really hard? But That's funny, right? Oh, it actually worked. There you go. It lined itself up. Okay. Thrusters on the front does work perfectly fine, it looks like here. We are accelerating without much problem. Oh, instability detected. Okay, the game does not like it when you connect nodes like that. I have uh, learned from experience when I try to attach doors from other cars on other cars. It doesn't like when you do that. So that was a fun little experiment. The hell said, nah, you can't be doing that. Uh, y'all hearing this? What, what, I don't know what's going on, but the game's making some funny noises now. Listen. Yeah, I have no idea what that's about, so I'm gonna just uh, restart the game, I guess. Okay, I restarted the game and I don't have much more I want to do there. So we're going to head on to Leap of Death and see how far we can fly. And we might as well go with the fastest version we can possibly get. So we're going to go with the drag version. We'll get it in different color because we already had a yellow drag version. This one will be in red. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the parts menu. We're going to add the Jato liquid fuel rocket once again. I swear, sometimes the parts menu takes a while to load up. Like right here, it just took a while. All right, and we're ready to go. So start slow and then... Try to floor it, but not too fast. I want to lose control. All right, there we go. That is a jump with no additional thrust after the ramp. We hit the ramp, and then we flew. And we really did fly. We're going to make it maybe a one-hit run if we get a good bounce on this first hit. But if I wanted to, I could use the rocket in the air, and we could probably fly all the way into the water without hitting the ground at all. And as I thought, that was just a one-hit run. So that's pretty good, but we're going to bring this thing back and we're going to try to actually use the rocket while we're in the air. Just got to be careful at the start right here to not lose control. All right, so now we're going to wait until the rocket's at the right spot and fire it. Fire it. And just try to use it only if it's going to push me up or away from the jump, basically. And then it's getting harder and harder to do the faster we spin. Now at this point, it's kind of just down to luck if I can time this right. But it looks like we're going to make it to the water. Yes, we did just barely make it to the water. And we'll take a look at the damage here. <laughs> what is up with the suspension? That thing is looking funky. 
I think we should do one more here. This time, we're just going to thrust the whole way. So I'm not going to let up at all. I'm just going to keep holding the throttle down. And oh, we are really getting into a spin fast here. We're basically a flying saucer at this point. Although, we're not really flying. We're just falling while spinning. It's not exactly flying saucer then. So there is the impact. And I'll let this thing kind of go to wherever it wants to go. And it's going to stop right around there. So you know what I want to do? I want to go to one more map, actually. I'm going to take this thing to Car Jump Arena because I want to see if we can jump really far. See, I bet with a car like this, we can fly all the way to the sand without even touching the landing zone. So we're going to grab the drag version because we got to go as fast as we can still. And then we're going to go ahead and add the Jada rocket to this thing. We're going to watch it hopefully really go for a flight right here. Takes forever to equip, though. Come on, Jada rocket. Okay, here we go. We're good to go. Just got to be a little bit careful with the throttle at this first part so we don't fly like that. All right, we were going way too fast for my own good. I didn't realize how fast we were going. Gentle, 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 again, go fast. All right. It's not like we really need to accelerate at the start because we're still going 200 miles per hour, and that's actually topped out, so we'll just let it fly all the way to the sand, all the way into the sand. It made it. I wanted to see if it could. It did. And that will do it for this video. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.